Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Merry Vlogmas, everyone. Now, I can't believe we are five days away from Christmas, and this is our 20th episode of Vlogmas. That seems absolutely insane, but it is a Monday after all, so, I mean, what is there to really talk about on a Monday? So we are going to be looking at the Advent calendar Someone suggested a few days ago to maybe go over some sunglasses. I happen to have a pair right here. We may have to flip this clip around because otherwise I think it looks like it says on instead of no. But it's the same folks who gave me this amazing t-shirt who gave me these <laughs> sunglasses for my birthday. But I think that's pretty much going to cover it for today. I'm going to go get some dinner in a few tomorrow and i gotta mention this now because by tomorrow's vlog it'll be too late the, Mar <laughs> the mariah carey menu at mcdonald's folks tomorrow the 21st is the t-shirt day mariah carey mcdonald's t-shirt i believe free just like tomorrow's food item which is a mcdonald's breakfast sandwich uh so definitely stop by there with a one dollar purchase you get the free breakfast sandwich and I believe the t-shirt too. I don't think that's any extra charge. So definitely check out the McDonald's app for that. No, they're not sponsoring me. Wouldn't that be freaking amazing? But that's what I plan on doing is grabbing a little breakfast tomorrow. Otherwise, this has gone on long enough. Let's get to the intro. folks so here is the sunglasses collection six pairs of versace we have a fendi a balmain a burberry a supreme and a louis vuitton now a couple honorable mentions as well we do have the no sunglasses that you saw in the opening as well as this pair of blenders and we're going to open all of these but i want to give you an overview first and then we'll go through each pair by pair all right, so let's do the honorable mentions first. I've never heard of this brand, but it's Enthe, I believe. And simply, they are just kind of like novelties, but it is absolutely hilarious. I mean, if you are just having one of those days, and uh, this will basically tell anyone you come across how you're feeling today and your response, so you don't even need to say it verbally when someone asks you for a favor that day. So absolutely love those. Love all the glitter around them. It's just a funny pair. So next up are going to be the blenders, which was actually something I found on a Facebook I think it was a Facebook ad, Facebook or Instagram, which normally I don't, you know, click on an ad, but these actually ended up being pretty cool. So here we have the blenders. Now it's, it takes a certain light to get them like that right there, how they are this super shiny aqua blue. It has a little detailing on each side with the little blender logo up in the corner if you can kind of see that um and yeah but of course in a lot of light you can see right through them see like that you can basically just see right through them so it takes a certain light to get that super shiny blue look that i absolutely love and of course what they promoted on the ad was it looking like this, not like this. This is the not so good part, if it would focus. I don't really like that kind of a look. Jesus Christ, focus. Oh my gosh, I know. I made my bed and it looks fantastic, but please, that's not what we're here for. Okay, so next, let's talk about the Fendi. And we are going to wear each of these also, by the way, because we got to model them all. 
But these are your Fendi Fabulous. It's the same kind of thing. If you look at them from like this angle, it doesn't even look like anything. But when you get them in the light, that's when you start to see all the Fendi Fs. And I did reviews. I'm pretty sure I've done reviews on all of these. I don't know if you'll ever be able to see this, but it actually it does say Fendi on the frame there. They're metal frames with white accents on either side. This is what it looks like on the inside. Kind of a bizarre look to the inside with this kind of clear rubber. But the whole point is this right here. This The whole look right there. Yep, absolutely love those. So I didn't look up like what the prices were for these. Of course, with most of these being designer brands, you know, they're only even available for like a season before they swap them out for the next thing. So I have no clue if you can even still get some of these. I got most of these years ago but yeah you can basically say that they're probably 250 dollars to 300 at a minimum and then up from there for example these balmans i believe these may be my most expensive pair these are probably double that but these are the big old shield frames and i love how it's tinted kind of this blue and pink but it has that detail right in the center there. These were the super pricey ones, but I freaking fell in love with them and got them straight from Balmain where, and I love the detailing like on the arms. You can see the Balmain B there and how it gets thinner and wider. But uh, with these, you know, a lot of these, you can get designer frames locally from like Sunglass Hut. But uh, some of these, you have to be a little more uh, resourceful. Next up, we could talk about the Burberries. You see me wear these all the darn time. And yes, I, if you notice, I keep them in the box. I keep them in the box. I keep them in their case. And I absolutely love these. These are so fantastic. So across the shield, in the right light, again, you can see... It says Burberry. And I love white frames. Oh, God, I got something on them. And I love uh, just the thick white frame look because that is what I actually was going for when I picked these up because I wanted some white frames, like the good old days, like the mid-2000s white frames. I wish these were completely white come all around surrounding the whole lens but they're not but still they are probably my in my top three sunglasses uh, i'm not ready to commit to saying they're my favorite because there's a pair of versaces that i actually really like also here's my least favorite pair and here and this is the supreme pair and you can see the logo's already kind of faded but this is just the box that holds the case so that's no big deal here's the case supreme honestly makes the worst looking sunglasses of all time so when you open these up these were supposed to be like freaking amazing because what I just said, the all white frames. But look at how narrow they are. Good God. I don't even know if I want to model these because they look, it makes you look so weird. But I do like the white logos on the sides. That is very nice. Or not the white logos, the red box logos on the side. That looks fantastic. But, I mean, that's kind of where the fantastic part stops because the shape of the frame itself is not the best. All right, so that was the first several pairs. Now we've got to move this thing. The sun is at that angle right now where I, can't, I don't want to flip it around because of where we are. But here, let's do this. All right. So that was all. Oh, it wasn't all. We have a pair of Louis Vuittons here as well. These are also in my top three, I have to say. Top, top three or four. Louis Vuitton, it's in this tr trunk case. And again, I have full, 
full-on detailed reviews of all of these. I am running out of room up here. Inside, you can see, I absolutely love these. As you can tell, I love the when the the shield has something special on it. So obviously this is the Louis Vuitton monogram pattern. Inside and on the sides and on the side there you can see it says Louis Vuitton. But I get a lot of compliments on those for sure. But I like, and I don't know if you saw on the inside of the trunk, it says Louis Vuitton as well. But it's a magnetic closure, which is cool. Louis Vuitton on the top, and it just looks like a mini trunk, a mini leather Louis Vuitton trunk, which I love. It came with a dust bag for the glasses too, but <clears throat> or the sunglasses, I should say, but I don't ever use it. Okay, so now the rest of these are all going to be Versace. Should we start with my absolute favorites first? These are also the ones that I wear all the time. And I, of course, with the Versace sunglasses, they're always in these big old boxes. This one's a big old white box. Oh. Inside here, Versace, that's what it's going to say every single time. But these are the silver shield ones. Oh, hell yes. Look at those babies shining. Absolutely love them. And they have this detailing across the top there. And the sides just say Versace there. And yeah, they're just super comfortable. They look fantastic. If you just want a silver shield pair of sunglasses, that is, that's the pair for you for sure. All right, so am I going to do these Versaces in order of favorite to least favorite? I could. I absolutely could. So those would be my favorite. Here then would be my second favorite. Let me start to move this a little bit. So the rest of these are going to be in black boxes. One box is bigger than the others though. And I keep these in order so I remember where they are because they're all in this kind of a box. Of course this, I don't know how well you can tell, this is a big old chunky case. Like you can't fit this in a pair of jean pockets whatsoever but uh here we go are you ready oh, we've seen these as well these are the gold ones they kind of look like aviators but instead of the middle part they have the versace medusa logo i just freaking love those and kind of the greek key on the sides so yeah, absolutely love these. Anytime I'm wearing black and gold, or yeah, mostly black and gold, I'll pull those out. So yeah, I try to coordinate the day sunglasses with the outfit. So the lighter colors get the silver, the darker colors get the black or the gold. Next up, again, it's gonna be that same kind of thing. Some of these I got at Sunglass Hut. Some of these I just got straight from the Versace website. These are the craziest ones that I own. These are the Frenergies. There's another pair of Frenergy I also have that's silver. But when I saw that they had red ones, I was like, holy cow. Love the Medusas on the corners come on focus there's a medusa there and another one on the other side they're just big old shield glasses they say versace above the nose on the shield and same kind of thing with the of course these designer frames just have the coolest arms but yeah so those are insane however i don't like that you can clearly see when I actually model these, I'll show you. You can clearly see my eyes, and I'm not a big fan of that. Like, I like the other shield glasses where it's completely blocked out. You can't see where I'm looking. That's kind of the whole point. Um, but, so yeah, I don't wear those all that often. 
And this is no longer in order, by the way, because <clears throat> I've actually now mixed these up and I can't remember which is which because those red ones, while cool, are probably in my bottom three. Here are the other Frenergies, though. And these are the Silver Shield ones. Come on, focus. Focus. There, kind of. So you can see Versace above the nose. It has the Medusas on either side. They're the exact same pair of glasses, except they're silver instead of red. And these you can't see through, which is exactly what I want. But the arms are the same. And the inside is the same. God, they look really cool, right? But these are also in my bottom three because of just how big the lenses are in certain areas. Because I don't mind big sunglasses, obviously. But those look almost like uh, fly insect eyes <laughs> when you put them on. All right, next up. This is back to going toward more of my favorite pair, these Versace's. Come on. Because these are, I think this is my very first pair of designer frames. So these have seen some stuff, but they're gold. They don't say Versace on the front, but they are this gold shield look. And the arms, though, are awesome. They're these metal arms with the Medusa logo. I absolutely love these. But, oh my gosh, I have worn the absolute hell out of these. But I absolutely love them. They are not in my bottom. They're not in my top. They're somewhere in between. And then this pair is pretty good as well. This is the big old box. So now you can see the difference. Here are the same size on the bottom. This box is much bigger and also thicker that way. So it's thicker that way and it's taller as well. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know because it's the same size case as the other ones. And these are like the aviator style looking ones. And I like these and I don't like these. First of all, I don't like them because of how narrow they are. I have a huge head. So these on me, if you're looking straight at me, I still have head across here and across the other side as well. Like these look very small on me, but I like how kind of formal they look. So I'll wear these with more business casual stuff, but I love the arms because the arms are done in like this clear material with this metal work on the inside of them. So that's what makes them really cool. But, uh, and of course, I love I like all my sunglasses. So even though I'm saying they're in my bottom, that's still in the bottom of the top, right? All right. So that was all of them. And now I just been stacking them up over here. Now I'm going to put them on one by one and we're going to take a peek. I'm going to do a little fashion show with each of them. And the Louis absolutely love them. You just see that monogram. Like I said, when I'm going through the drive-thru or <laughs> someplace, when people catch that, they're like, oh my gosh, those are freaking sweet. And I, yep. Love them. Top three frame for me for sure. I stepped over there because you kind of lose it, though, in certain light. I can't even tell right now if you can see it. The burbs, what can I say? Freaking love these. You can kind of see where I'm looking in certain light. But just the overall aesthetic of the black and white, black and white. Yep, absolutely love them. Definitely a top tier frame for me. These Versace's with that detailing across the bridge. Not a whole lot going on on the sides. It's just a black arm with the Versace name, which you can barely see in this light. But just the size, the shape of these. I know I'm getting some shadowing up here that doesn't look the best, but uh, uh, I freaking love these. 
one of my absolute favorite pairs because I love this whole situation going on on the side. Love the Medusa in the middle. Fantastic. I freaking love this pair. The Fendi's, when I'm feeling colorful, when I'm, when I'm w not wearing something black, when I'm actually wearing some color, these are fantastic. One downside, I don't like how this angle here is on either side, how it almost kind of comes out to a point. But otherwise, just the color of the frame itself when you're wearing something colorful is fantastic. These are my Gold Shield Versace's. I love these so much. They're like the perfect size. They hide everything. You cannot see where I'm looking and they look sweet with these logos on the sides. The blenders, these are again one of the cheaper pairs. I can't remember how much these were, but obviously they're not designer frames. They were probably under 50 bucks. But uh, yeah, depending on the light you're in, they can change kind of color so you can kind of get this situation or, you know, get this bright blue look. But in other light, kind of like here, you kind of lose that. You can almost start to see through it. I wear these in the pool a lot. These are my pool glasses. When I don't want to wear expensive designer frames in the swimming pool, I'll pull these out because they're cheaper. Obviously, they're not cheap. They're, they were still, you know, just relatively cheaper. They weren't $300, so I definitely feel more okay wearing these in the pool. These Balmans, same kind of thing. You can see where I'm looking. Not a huge fan of that. I do like the oversized look of these. Um, the shadows just absolutely suck, though. So if we do something more like this. I love the gold trim on these. I love the way the arm looks. But the size of these and just how kind of out there they kind of look. I don't typically wear these with just like a t-shirt. I'll typically wear something like this with um, something more crazy if I'm wearing something like a crazy looking hoodie or something like that where I'm like trying to be a little more fashionable. That's when, that's when I break out these. Here are the red Frenergies. Same thing, but you can see my eyes. So this is, I mean, they are sunglasses. I'm looking right at the sun right now and it's not bothering me a whole lot. So they do work, but... Like, you know, I try to get away with looking at the screen on the camera all the time. And I do look at the screen the entire time when I'm wearing sunglasses where you can't see where I'm looking because it's hard for me to actually look at the camera lens. So these are just a big no. I do like the look of them, but takes a very certain look. Like I wouldn't just wear these out today, for example. <laughs> Here are my silver Frenergies. I love the look of the Medusa and the arm and that it says Versace across the top of the nose. But as you can see, <laughs> I don't like how low the frames go like that. It takes a very certain look, which is why I ended up getting that other silver pair after these. And I vastly prefer those. The Versace Aviators, as you can see, just... I don't know. They're still, with the size of my face, I feel like they're a little small. They kind of get lost. Not bad, but not the best. And my least favorite pair, because <laughs> look at these. They're so narrow. I do like the width of them, but no. This would take a very, very specific look. I like the box. I like the Supreme box logo on the sides. That looks nice, but it's they're just too narrow. It reminds me of that Star Trek character that just had that band across their eyes. <gasps> All right, folks, that is it for the sunglasses collection. I hope that was enlightening in some way. I, you know, it's one of the, it's ever growing. So, you know, it's been a while though since I last picked up a new pair. So we may have to remedy that soon. All right, folks, you know what time it is. It's the time of the vlog to reveal today's Lego Advent calendar opening. If you look at all this stuff that we have here, do you notice anything or anyone new? I'll give you two seconds. Two, 
one? The answer is this. This is Shirley Keeper. Now, I mentioned this in the Advent calendar unboxing for today, so go check that out also when I actually assemble her. She's a, like a sanitation worker working for the city. She also came with this uh, b green bottle, but she's sweeping it up as, you know, as, she, as is her way. But uh, they all have names. All the minifigures actually have names on the box. So that was Shirley Keeper. The robber's Betty. The police officer is Sam Grizzled. The firefighter is Bob. And the caroler is Top Hat Tom. So we got names for everybody now. There's one more minifigure, at least one more. Uh, but I'm not going to reveal his name until we reveal him. We only have four more boxes to open. One, two, three, four. And like I said in the advent calendar opening, I'm pretty sure one of them is a Christmas train locomotive. I'm pretty sure another one, a separate one, I believe, is a Christmas train car. And one of them is a Santa Claus minifigure. Now, the only I'm not hopefully not spoiling anything by saying that because it's all over the box. You just look at the box itself and you see the Santa Claus, you see the Christmas train and all that stuff. So I assume that stuff's in here. I don't know for sure. But that leaves one other box that I have zero idea what it could be. So we'll just have to keep waiting. All right, folks, that is it for the Advent Calendar portion of today's vlog. All right, folks, and that'll do it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed looking through my sunglasses collection. I know that's all we did today, but I mean, it's a Monday. What more can you ask? So I'm about to go get some dinner and I'll see you later. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time.